Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can leverage AI and your dev tools for Chrome browser. So Chrome recently launched their AI solution right into the browser so that you can understand the issues as a developer that you see on developer console. Now to start with, I'm on Chrome version 124, which is the latest build, as you can see this tick. And in order to use that, I will open up a new tab and then I will go to Chrome, more tools, developer tools. And as you can see, this is the familiar console. You may have seen this as a developer, but something that has changed recently is as you hover, you will see this pop-up showing up. As you hover, you will see an icon. And as you can see, it says, understand this warning. Once I click, it asks for the consent because it takes this message and it sends to Google as an input in order to understand what the error is and then giving us what the possible resolution would be. So since the data is going from our browser to Google, we need to say uh, we consent and we click continue. As I do that, see it says generating explanation and it gives a detailed explanation of why this might be happening. And it is still generating the response. And if you're, if you're happy with this information, you can, you can continue to resolve the issue that you had, or you can click on do search instead. You can also see what data was sent to Google. So if I click on console message, this was the data that was sent to Google in order to identify or possible issue is and what could be the resolution. Now, this is the default warning that came from the browser, so not very interesting. So let's take a use case. I will delete everything and I will start writing code and I will say let A is an array with two values, one and two. And then in order to produce an error by knowing that it will fail, I will say a.mats as a function. And as I hit, it, it fails because we know that the JavaScript arrays do not have a max function defined, but what we will do is we will leverage AI to help us understand why this might be the case. So if I hover again, you will see that understand this error pops up. And then when I click, it is again asking us to give a consent. So it is going to send three things here. It, it will look for the related code. It will look at the stack trace and the console message. As I hit continue, it is generating the explanation. So it tells that um, max is not a function. It seems we are trying to call a max function that does not have a max method. And it gave us three possible reasons. A is not an array, not true, because it is an array. A is an empty error, not true. It is a filled array. And A is a sparse array, which it is not. There are only two slots and both have values. So it is giving us one possible solution on how we can find the maximum value in an array. And you can see this code snippet. And it is also giving us the warning to use the code snippet with caution. It's because it is generated not by the human, but by the AI model. And what we can do is we can copy the code here. I will come here, I'll do a right click and I will hit paste. And if I hit enter, it says A has already been declared. It's the reason is because when we declared A, we used the let keyword. So let's go back and instead of redeclaring it, we will say A is this. And we, as we hit enter, it says A is five. So if I again say A equals one and two, and then run the same code again, or let's remove this line. It says that the max number is two. So as you can see, I reproduced this issue in order to showcase what the errors are. But as a developer, when we are working on projects, we see warnings and errors and our console log all the time. So this is a nice way to interact with an AI model and find out the reasons why that might be happening with a possible code that would fix it. So I hope that this was useful. Do give it a try. This is available on latest Chrome version 124. Update your Chrome if you haven't already in order to use this latest feature by Chrome. All right, if this was useful, 
please hit the like button if there are any new things that you would like to see. If you have questions or you, you would like us to try out new things, hit a comment below and we will make sure that we'll make video on that. All right, till we meet next time again, take care of yourself, keep trying, keep practicing and see you soon.